years suck for me, for me. I need to caveat that for me. We don't want to offend the entire planning community. <laughs> well, hello there. I'm Nusha, also known as Ferocious and Pretty Pens, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about you guessed it, planners. You saw the title of this video. You got the little snippet at the very beginning. You may be intrigued or highly offended because you're part of the planning community. And I apologize. That wasn't the point of that. The point of that is just to say that planners are usually not a one size fits all. So a lot of times I find that I invest in a new planning system and it ends up just not working for me. I have tried a lot of them from, you know, the OG, very first one I ever tried, which was the Erin Condren, to the different Hobonichis, to the Philofax, to you name it, I've probably tried it. I've tried bullet journaling. And for whatever reason, none of these methods have truly worked for me. There are portions of planners that I find that I never even use, especially planners that have areas where you can schedule things or monthly calendars. I never use these sections because I have a calendar in my phone and I live and die by that calendar. Work meetings have always gone in there and due to the nature of work meetings and things changing and rescheduling, it just doesn't make sense to write stuff down. Quite frankly, all I need in a planner is a place to write my never ending to-do list. And I know there are people that say having a massive to-do list is, is not conducive to productivity. But I will tell you that if I don't write stuff down, I forget it. And if I forget it, it doesn't get done. When you have a job where you're juggling all sorts of things, you don't want to forget one of them and drop it. That's like my worst nightmare. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I've recently decided to invest in the plotter system. Plotter is a new company that is made out or I don't know if they're based in Japan or if their products are made in Japan. We're going to do an unboxing of the plotter. I have ordered a couple of things, one of them being the actual planner that's leather. That's the most expensive item in their store. It's 245 doll hairs. Uh, it's quite expensive. So we're going to open it up, we'll look at it together, and I'll show you how I'm going to set it up. If you enjoy this type of content, if you're not mad at me because you're part of the planner community and you were offended at the very beginning, make sure to give this a thumbs up and to also subscribe. Okay, now the time that you've all been waiting for. Unboxing the plotter. Ooh-wee. I don't know what YMC. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's like I'm at a rock concert with myself and my cats. Anyway, okay. So here's the box that the plotter comes in. So uh, I already, I guess, opened this part of it, but I actually haven't open opened it. So man, I even got this out because I was like, oh, I love this thing. It's called a slice. Is this neat? And then it comes out and then it goes in, comes out, goes in, and it's magnetic but we don't really need it because I already sliced it. <laughs> so let's open this guy up and see what's inside. I don't even remember what I ordered. See, look, I didn't actually open it because all the tissue paper and stuff is still exactly the same <laughs> as when they packed it. Oh, look at that. Crinkle, crinkle. Mm, love it. Ah, yoink. Let's get this out of the way. Get out, ghost. Just kidding, it wasn't a ghost. Oh, look, and it's it has its own little thingy. So I did super simple, and I just bought to-do list, the band, so that I could keep the thingy itself closed, the binder itself closed. So... Let's see what this has inside of it. Oh my god. Mm. Made in Italy. Oh look, it's in Italian. Cool. I don't speak Italian. And then more stuff about their logo. That's cool. I don't really care about that. 
Mm, okay, the Lasico leather. This classic smooth leather was created through faithful adherence to techniques. The more you handle the product, the unique character. Why am I reading this? Okay. Oh, look, and it has like a little dust bag. It better have a dust bag with how much I spent on this. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. One thing I noticed right off the bat, I don't know if you can tell, but this is not perfectly straight it has a bit of a bend to it and I can see where they crimped it down here into the leather it already has some creasing in the leather and then you open it up and then it has different definitions of the noun plotter that's great and then it has more information proudly handmade in Japan I thought it was made in Italy but maybe it's just the leather that comes from Italy so this is a really skinny mini sort of a situation. I want to say this is a quarter of an inch. That's actually really nice. Okay, so I bought this guy, band with the lifter, with the world map and all that stuff. That's great. But I bought it because, oh my God, get out of my life. Ugh. So that I could put it in here and know exactly what time zone is what. No, just kidding. I didn't buy that for that reason. I bought it so that I could have um, this functionality to be able to keep it closed once there's a bunch of stuff in there. I also bought the to-do list insert. I didn't for how expensive this was, I'm highly in awe and disappointed that it didn't come at least with one insert. I understand that this is expensive, but they're more than making their profit margin on this, that you would think that they'd include at least one insert with it, but that's just me. Okay, to-do list. Let's see what this layout looks like. Oh, that's nice. In the beginning, it has, what's your mission statement, you guys? I don't have one right now. And you can tear these out for sure. Oh, it's not a mission statement. It's your <laughs> actual task itself. Okay, that's your mission is to get this done. And then it has over here 0, 50%, 100%, the amount that it's complete. So that's kind of a nice feature to be able to at least track progress of something that you're working on. And the paper is really smooth. Don't worry, I'll bust out the fountain pens in a sec and we'll play with this. The cool thing about this is that you can rip these out individually or you can carry it around as a notebook or you can put it in there however you want. I thought that that was kind of unique that if you wanted to carry your to-do list or notes or whatever, because they have different types of inserts. This was just one that I bought because I needed a to-do list. That kind of takes up the entire thing. I could probably put a little bit more in there. I actually have some fountain pen friendly paper that I bought off of Amazon for my folio fax that has the six ring set up. So I'm actually gonna pop that in here too. Here is my version of the plotter all laid out and set up. And I'll open this up and show you what I have going on in here. It's really minimalistic. I think that's the entire point of this. I am so bothered by the fact that this has a bend in it. I am so bothered by it. Do you see it or is it just me? It might just be me, but I see it. I know it's there. It's like a full on bend in the spine of this. Ugh. And then I can see like it coming up right here. Oh, if you have a plotter and that's totally normal, then just tell me it's normal and to calm the frick down. I mean, I'm not uncalm, but I'm just not super happy for how much money I spent on this. Anyway, so this was the lifter that has unit conversions, world time clock situation and whatnot in it that helps keep it closed. This is the paper that I bought off of Amazon. As you can tell, maybe you can't tell, but it's not white. It's like a cream color, which is fine with me for notes and, and things like that. This is the to-do list that I just yanked a, a page from because of our mission statement. 
But the cool thing about this, this was something I was really curious about, was it does lay flat. I was kind of like, oh, it's a notebook, but it has hole punch, but it's bound. You can tear out the pages. How is this going to work? But look at this. It lays flat. And we have fountain pens. Okay, so let's start out with the plotter. I'm going to show you guys whether or not it's fountain pen friendly. So let's start out with a dryer ink, which is the Pelican Appetite. And then I'm gonna use this Monster Nib and we'll use a standard diamine, but it's an orange, so it might be a little bit wetter than what you would expect. Let me zoom you guys in. So we're, we're looking at the same thing, you guys. We'll start at the very top. My mission is Pelican Appetite. The paper isn't the thickest paper, which is good because this notebook is really thin. So I have a feeling there's gonna be a little bit of ghosting on the other side. Let's see how it handles this guy. This is my Monster 1.3 millimeter Visconti. So it has, what does it have? And this is really a wet writing experience right here. So if there's any issues with this paper, I don't remember the rest of the name of the ink. The other thing I'll mention is that this paper isn't like a bright white. It's white, but it's not bright white, which is fine. Let's see. Let's go with Bungo Box Lamont. I'm really putting this paper through its paces with the fat, fat nibs, juicy nibs that I'm using. Okay, and then the last one is going to be this random pen brand you've never heard of that's probably been bought up by Jin Hao called Bulo. And this ink can be wet and it can sheen a little bit. It's a smooth writing experience, which is good. Okay. Let's let this dry, and we'll take a look at it in a second. Alrighty, my friends, let's look at these results. The Pelican Appetite, it looks totally fine, no issues there. It shades well. The color does appear to be way more green on this paper than it is on bright white paper, but that's okay, but it might be a preference of yours. So just FYI, the Color Traveler has some feathering in different parts of it, the C, the L, the T, the A. And quite frankly though, with this pen, I did release the hounds because I opened up this, open up this valve right here. So this was like just crazy, crazy, crazy wet. And that's okay, but I wanted to see how the paper would do. Bungo Box's Lamont, it has a sheen on this paper and it is completely dry, which is good. A timeline pumpkin, no sheenage that I can see, but it does have shading and it looks nice. But let's look at the back of the paper because that'll be pretty telling. Now, what's interesting is that there's some very, very, very light ghosting, but there is no bleed through. So this paper did actually all right, even with the super duper wet nib that I used. My find, which was this paper, I went ahead and did this off camera. So let's take a look at it. This is the other paper and I'll link it below if you're interested. But again, it's not fully white. It's slightly cream colored. It's not like cream cream, ivory. We'll call it ivory, how about that? But it, had no feathering anywhere on it and it has slight ghosting but no bleed through. If you want a six ring loose leaf paper then this might be a good way to go to. My thoughts on the plotter system, I'm super disappointed in this bend right here. I can feel it. <laughs> Other than that it's pretty nice. I like how thin it is. It's going to make it going in my, my everyday carry a lot more simplistic. Oh, the one thing I'll mention is that the Filofax stuff, while you can put it in here, it ends up being, when you close everything up, it ends up being too 
long. It ends up hanging out the uh, back end. So it's kind of like, I don't know, that trend that's coming back right now of women wearing visible thongs. It's kind of what this reminds me of. So I'll throw a visual up here if you don't remember what I'm talking about. Anyway, just be warned about that. Everything else is, is totally 100% fine. And there you have it, the plotter system thingamajiggy. I've honed in on what really works for me and I'm hoping that the plotter, because it's so minimalist, it'll inspire me to keep it to a bare minimum of only the things that I need and that's it. And uh, wish me luck. I'm still super bummed about that binding. Let me know, have you guys tried the plotter system? Have any of you noticed this weird bend thing that I did. And I don't know, I feel like I should write the company and tell them that it's kind of bent and see what they say. I literally just got this thing. You watched me unbox it. But um, yeah, what do you guys think? Anyway, I hope you're doing well wherever in the world you may be. And we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget, keep writing and planning. <laughs> <laughs> I have notes on this. I have notes on this. I wrote down some notes because I wanted to make sure I don't miss anything. Well, hello there. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, no. Test. Test one, two. Lucas, I am your father. Wait, no, it's Luke. I am your father. Okay, I think the mic is working. There was an outer box, but we're not trying to get anybody doxing all up in my grill and stuff. So, oh, cat hair, that's hot. I'm going to die alone. It's fine. <laughs>